Pico Boulevard, Los Angeles. Yes, that's another one. Yes, I believe that's a uh, another management company, and they told me to call them when I uh, when I uh, when I visit the store next to them, the liquor store, or on the restaurant actually. Edward Kim, mall. let's call him up. Stand by. Okay. See what he says. Might be more uh, flexible. Real Slim is Justin. How can I help you? Hi, Justin. This is Danny for Ed Kim. Okay, sure. May I ask the reason for the call? I want to lease some space from you in Los Angeles. Okay, uh, and regarding which property? Okay, perfect. Let me just put you on a brief hold and let me see if you can take your call, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Because of the personal attention given every caller, you may experience a brief delay. Please remain on the line. A representative will assist you momentarily. We appreciate your call and your patience while waiting. Your call is very important to us, and we look forward to speaking with you. Your tenant is making an attempt to sell their business, and I'm not going to purchase said business until I'm able to discuss a potential long-term lease. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. Oh, okay. Um, well, then let me pass that along to you, okay? I'm going to just put you on a brief. Uh-huh. Because of the personal attention given. So this is how we bypass the secretary will assist you momentarily. We appreciate your call and your patience while waiting. Your call is very important to us, and we look forward to speaking with you. This broker gave you a lease application? Sorry, say it again. The personal attention given every call. Your notes say that you spoke to a broker that gave you a lease application. A representative will assist you momentarily. Are you if I put a lease Just reading your notes, buddy. I can't hear you. I wonder why. Voicemail. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Edward. Yes. Hi, Ed. I want to lease uh, for. Well, I mean, it's uh, it's lease. Yeah, there's a laundromat there. It's not available for for lease. Right. There's a laundromat there. there. We're talking about the same space. Right. Canon is there. Yes. Do you own the building or you work for the management company? Yeah, we manage the building. Okay. So, Ed, my thing is I've been doing laundries in California and two other states for about 16 years. I'm always looking for laundromat infrastructure. So I sign long-term leases when the existing laundromat fails and look to sign long-term leases with you. I retool the store. I put new equipment in pay the rent on time. And maybe that's not today for this store. Maybe they're doing well. Uh, when I scout the store, I see just tons of broken equipment, poor operating hours and procedures. But I don't know. Hello? You know. 
Hi. Okay, just one second. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if anything. Wait available. a minute. Okay. Are, are you doing something more important? Are you choking down a sandwich so a potential long-term tenant is something it's that you don't want to do? I'll let you know, okay? Oh, hey, Ed. Ed, what yeah. I'll do now is I'll reach out to ownership because you are really, really poor at your job. Yeah, he hung up. How did that sound to you, Sam? Well, that's not a lead, that's for sure. That's not something. It's not a bad laundromat, you know, but you've also got a guy yeah, that, not that bad. you've also got, you, you can't expect to scoop up a store with fairly new equipment with no out of order signs. They've got tons of top loaders. I could see lots of improvement. They're not one of my students, right? How do you know instantly when you walk in, it's not my student? Well, first of all, the hours is not 24 hours. Um, there's not a lot of folding tables. Um, there's water damage. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that had the symptoms that you had uh, mentioned. Right. But the thing you see instantly, almost instantly, is that the walls are lime green. The whole place is lime green. It's right. Not, it's not white. Yeah, that's another thing. It's weird. It is very uncomfortable for people to do. If I took over, it'd just be, yeah, you know, I'd repaint everything, just make it seem more bigger. It's everything when you get in there feels really like like a jail, like you're 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 stuck. I'm not sure about how to explain it, but I thought it would have been a good candidate. But obviously, well, it's also you know, this guy. it's also March and there's Christmas decorations up. It shows how little they care. Right. Yeah. There's no uh, real management. They just want to leave it. Here's the point. Um, which is here's the point. Mm -hmm. What's the point? This knucklehead that finally gets on the phone after eventually yep. going through his secretary that tries to shine me on that he's not interested, as soon as he has a vacancy, he'll change his tune. Right. Keep your eye on this store and others and keep scouting. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right.